today. I have allergies. It's spring and it's seasonal. I've taken uh, allergy medication and it's just not doing much good. So I'm a little bit stuffy, but I will try really hard to not be too nasally and not be too annoying with the sniffing, etc. So I will try to be conscious of that. So if I am annoying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm going to be making a new soap today. I've never made this one before. I call it orange grapefruit. What I've done is an equal blend of two fragrance oils from Candora Soaps. I've mixed equal parts of these two fragrance oils. This is Blood Orange and Goji, and this is Pink Grapefruit. I've already added it to the soap batter. In fact, I've also already mixed my colors because I'm going to concentrate more today on my design. We're just gonna start from the point I have it at right now, which is where the colors are made, and I'm going to start pouring into the mold. So, I hope you enjoy. Oh, it's thickening up on me. That's gonna be okay, we're gonna work faster now. I shouldn't talk so much. Yellow? You saw the yellow? Pretty pink. I'm very happy with the pink. This is the main batter. This orange. This reminds me of the peel of a grapefruit. It's a very faint orange. I hope it keeps its color as it cures. And this last one is a very, is a white, basically. It's a white, um, very light yellow, white color. So I am going to do a hanger swirl today. If I could get hurrying up before this all cures on me already. <coughs> Here is my mold ready to go. Now I'm going to do this is my main color, my base background color. I'm going to pour that in and pound down the mold so we don't have our pockets. All right, here. Now I'm going to give it more of this orange in one corner. Now I wanted to do, I want to do a hanger swirl, but I only have the hanger swirl really on one side. You know, like that butterfly, lotus flower, mat kind of mantra sort of technique or got some pretty interesting swirls going on but it's just in one corner of the soap well, I hope I don't have air pockets in this this is soap number three on my soap my secret project Today is May 25th, so we're getting close. I said I would reveal it in July, so I need to finish the last two soaps. The last two, I'll tell you the, the fragrances, are, I don't know if I can remember them, honeysuckle, <laughs> honey, so one's a floral. I've done some fruity ones. I did the eucalyptus spearmint. Uh, a floral is the honeysuckle. I think I'll do that next. And then I'm doing a lemon. I've had a lot of people really like, like the lemon, so. <clears throat> there you go, I'm sniffling. Okay, now, I really wish this was more fluid, but it's going to be okay. Put in the pink in. I'm going to guide it with the spatula and then we're going to get the hanger in there and, and get it all in one side with a, some sort of interest, I hope. No matter what, I am sure it's going to be pretty because colors are pretty. So if these colors are so darn pretty, how can it not be pretty? And it smells really good. Even though I'm all stuffed up with this, these allergies, I can still smell the grapefruit. It is a very true, that fragrance oil is a very true grapefruit. Like, it, my dad always eats grapefruits. And smelling this soap is reminding me of my dad eating his breakfast. That's 
what it smells like. <clears throat> now, back to my original orange. I'm going to fill in the other side here. Remember, I don't really want swirls on what is, to me, the right side. This, I don't want too many swirls on that side. I want them all just in that one corner. What was I doing when it took me so long to get here and this all thickened up? I don't know. Goofing around and doing something. I should have just got down to business, right? Just because I didn't have the camera rolling. I wasn't focusing on task. Now, what you haven't seen yet is I have another bit of batter. In, and it is thickening up for the topping. I am going to do piping on this. Nothing, no embeds, just piping. I decided this series, my surprise project series, it doesn't have any melt and pour, no embeds, you know. It's all cold process and it's a, actually it's a special recipe too. It's a different recipe than usual. It's deluxe luxury recipe. I remember once I made a lilac and the lilac, like this is thickening up, but the lilac just solidified. This is nothing compared to what happened to that. At least here I do have time to work. That was a disaster. What I learned about that from now on, I will never add a floral until right before I'm ready to make the soap. So when I do the honeysuckle, you're going to see me being very careful with the fragrance. Because I've heard that that is a um, <clears throat> common with floral fragrances. <clears throat> Perfect. Oh, lots of time in here. Now I'm going back. I'm going to go down, up, around in a big circle, around in a little circle. Maybe one more time. Down, up, around, around. So from my point of view, I went clockwise. Now I need to pound it down. I definitely put air pockets in. So the reason I chose grapefruit is it's another memory of the body shop. Fra another fragrance that I love from the body shop. Now I'm wondering, I've been to the States a lot. I've never noticed that you have body shops. Do you have, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm starting to think that maybe all my American friends watching my videos don't know what I mean. The body shop is mostly body butters. Uh, it's just all kinds of stuff there. Uh, it's bath stuff, body, body stuff. They do not have things like bath bombs or bubble bars or cold process soap. They just have, they have glycerin soap. Before I made and used my own soap, I used to just cover myself with that, with their body butter every day. So that's why I was a regular customer of that store because my skin was so dry. I desperately needed that body butter all the time. But now that I use my own soap, especially with the goat's milk soaps, my skin is not dry anymore and I don't need the body butter. So if you think handcrafted soaps are expensive, I'm not saying it's a given, but if you're like me, when you start using them, you're going to save money on other products like lotions. I don't need the lotions anymore. All right, so now I'm done, except I am indeed going to pipe the top. So let's let this sit here until the batter I've made for piping is ready. But look how pretty that is. Do you see? Can you see it well? It's so pretty. But I, I feel when I cut it from here, like this is very lovely. I could just leave it as it is. But I find that it just, 
It needs just a little more volume in my bar of soap. So as I could always have a line of smaller soaps, but I like my big, chunky, generous soaps. I guess that's just... Every soaper eventually has a thing that's kind of... They hit, get in their own groove, and that's mine. I like my big soaps. It's a beautiful day out today, so I thought that I would cut my soaps outside. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what is making all the noise and rocket. It's my wind chimes. There they are. I've had these for a very long time, these chimes. I like the sound. I also have some others that don't make sound. I guess those would be just sun catchers. Here is my loaf. I've already cut off a piece in the end. And it, I can smell a little bit. I'm still stuffed up, but I can smell it. It smells still like wonderful tart grapefruit. Here's what it's looking like. Uh, subtle, but pretty. I am going to have some air pockets. I can already tell. You can see them. But I do um, repair I just take some, like, see, I'm going to cut off this end. It's going to be hardly any here. I'll take this batter and repair the holes. So, even though I've got some air pockets, in the end, the presentation will be pretty. Now, I have already also scored the top. You can see, for about one inch. So, they're all measured and ready to go. Now, to get them square, let's see if you can see better there. I line it up against the edge of my miter box and then there's my one inch. And here's my guide. Now I'm pressing against the wood and I just push down. Here we go. It's pretty. You can see a bit of the hanger up and down. Remember I did a hanger swirl? It's not something I do very often, so I'm not that good at it. You have to do things, you got practice to get better. So, that's why I like to try some different things to get different looks and different techniques. That's a nice bar of soap. There we go. Nice thickness, nice and straight. No holes in that one. Oh, there's one there. But not too bad. I did let this batter thicken up on me a bit too much while I was... I got distracted with something. I don't remember what. Oh, I should have. Because I didn't have the video on when I was mixing up the batter and the colors. So my... Attention was must have been taken to something. Maybe the phone rang. I don't remember. Now I'm going to start at the other side because my score marks here aren't making sense to me. <clears throat> it's cured very nicely. It has been one and a half days. So I made it the evening before last. Oh, that's so pretty. This is just a sample. This will be the piece that I use to make sure it's nice and bubbly and moisturizing. These soaps have shea butter in them, which is not a usual one of my ingredients. So it'd be nice to see the difference.
I like to shop local and we don't have I've not found shea butter in my stores here so I haven't had that in my list of oils just because that was one of my goals just to get my supply as many supplies as I could local to support stores in my town if you want to have stores in your town you better shop at them right there are only 12,000 people where I live but then it's my neighbor's dog just making sure he's not eating Jenkins no he's not Jenkins is out on his leash to make sense that I've started from the other end and can move back. What is that doggy want? He doesn't like that lawnmower. Neither do I. I suppose people do need to keep the grass cut. We actually still have a push mower. It's my choice. I I don't want a cord in the way all the time, and I didn't want to have to bother with the gasoline and jerry can and storing gasoline. So we found used push mower, and it works fine. Sometimes we also have a, an electric weed whacker we use to get the weeds if it's too much for a little push mower. There you go. And my last piece. So here you have it. Out. Oh, oh, see, that's one of those fluffies that gives me allergies. Here you have my soap out in the nature of my backyard. I'm doing okay. Um, with my hanger swirl, orange and grapefruit. And I also picked some flowers from my garden for you. And I'm going to have a few moments right now, so I'm going to take these moments to do some photography out here in my backyard, because natural lighting is best. That flower didn't make it far, did it? <laughs> natural lighting is, is best for photography, I find, so I'm going to do some photography and update my Etsy page. So if you've never been, after by the time this video is online, my Etsy page will be updated. And if you have been, go again and check it out, because I'm going to make some new photos and I think I'll add some new products as well. Alright everyone, see you next time, take care.